Oh, we got another one on that ride. Oh my God. This is madness, bud. This is crazy. We got one here, one here, and one here. What's up guys? I've been like in a creative rut. Am I depressed? Cause I've been locked up inside and the snow has been up to my yin yang. Maybe, I don't know. It's like, I love doing vids, but I've been away for so long. But you know what? It's time to snap out of it. I apologize for not being there. That's Ken Tronic. That's Mantronic's brother. Tronic. Remember this guy, the Baby male Tronic. stripper that does male stripping by night, construction by day. And his brother just strips full time. <laughs> they cheer me up. They tell me stories of the nights that they do. <laughs> and I'll smile again. I really did need a jackass in my life to maybe get me out of this creative rut. We're good, light it up. I could be going through a midlife crisis, you know? Because we'll I was together. thinking about getting gold teeth and a pair of Iversons and a bulletproof suit. Because <laughs> I think I'm in a rap video. That's like a hood life crisis. Are you your ribs on your whip? Like most guys buy a Porsche, they get like a hair transplant. Like I want to grill 22s on his whip. Yeah, I want to grill. I'm going to Kanye, bro. I gotta run for president. Yeah, I'm going through something. Anyway, like Perrick and uh, Jay Siemens both messaged me saying, where the heck's your videos? Uh, they kind of gave me a kick in the butt. Perrick gave me a lot of good encouragement. I guess he sensed I needed it. He said, get moving sort of, but in a positive loving way. Yeah. So thanks Mr. Moosash Perk. Cause I know <laughs> you're going through a spiritual search yourself. So I think I'm gonna go on your spiritual search as well. And if you're the president of the Flat Earthers Movement, hire me as your vice president. <laughs> I'll support you even though the movement could be considered insane. I'm loyal like that. What a rant. Let's catch some Let's fish, catch bro. Some fish. Shut up. He always says that. It's a tradition. I go on stupid rants, he tells me to shut up, and then we catch big fish. We're gonna catch big fish. So we're gonna go for some pike. We're in Toronto Harbor to start. We might go to a um, nuclear power plant. That's why we might need the bulletproof suit. <laughs> All right, see you in a minute. That's our camera copter. <laughs> We're moving up in the world. Come back around here, man. What the hell are you for? I'm gonna place that mofo with the drone. This is a perfect rod for this. This is a uh, medium heavy tactical fishing tube special. Like there's no line count or nothing on it. We're fishing in 20 to 30 feet. One long launch like that, one cast. And I'm taking that about 50, 60, 70 feet maybe. And I'm taking a snap weight two ounce. This is the one with the tooth in it. I like the balls better. It doesn't catch as much water. The water kind of runs around it. Get in the pads. There we go. Do a loop so it doesn't slide down. Then I'm just letting it down. Didn't let it out very much. See about there. That was it. One right on bottom right there. What is that? I don't know, but a couple. Wintering bass. Who knows? I wish I had a camera right now underwater. Baby Tronic is back. We lost one earlier. We got a snap weight, two ounce to a rogue. Good old rogue. We got the first bite in the rogue, and now the second bite in the rogue. It's all about rogue. All about rogue. Retro. Rogue Nation. Feels big, eh? It's a pike. Oh, yeah. I think it's a pike. I don't think it's a brown. Oh, yeah, baby. If we can get two big pike, we're going to get out of here. We're going to go to the nuclear spillway, see if we can pop some other species. Holy. Just sit you down. What do you think, Tronic? Sal Cal? You're just Maybe it's just a massive years. brown. I think it's a brown. Look at is this. It, is it What's dead? That, no, it's just so fat. It came up from the depth. Holy cow, bud. It's big. Whoa! Oh, buddy, it's huge. Look at this thing. Look at that. Oh, oh that's chunky. Oh, we got a giant. Oh. Look at that sound. Giant, giant fish. Giant. So I just dropped the drift sock out, get my speed down to about uh, 1.7 to two miles per hour kind of thing. And that right away got us that bite. We got one bite on a traditional rogue, just on like a three quarter cast back behind a board high and then one deep. So, so far it's the straighter the bait, the better. Try a bunch of different baits, definitely been the sticks. If we get one more big fish like that, we're gonna go eat souvlaki and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, let's do this. Yep, more species. But it feels good to be back on a nice day. Hot. Your life is stripping at night. Stripping at night, catching fish during the day. <laughs> That's the life, bro. That's the life. That's a real player Man Tronic, life. Baby, baby Tronic. Baby Tronic. Living life to the fullest. <laughs> we're on again, Timmy T. All of a sudden, he came in a bit shallower, doubled up. Both on the rogue again, eh? Is it? Yeah, both on the rogue. I'm gonna get the board off this one. Oh man, we got a fish on my left, a board in this hand, and we're going crooked. Ooh, nice fish. That's another nice one. It's chunky. Oh yeah, that's heavy, bud. Oh, we got another one on that rod. Which one, this one? Yeah. Oh my God, this is madness. This is crazy. We got one here, one here, and one here. 
three on at once. Gone. Is it? Lost him? You sure? Keep reeling. It's gone. You felt it pop off? Well, kind of thank God if it is. Almost a triple header. <laughs> we got him out. Yep. Lunch time, bud. Got him. They're just like swallowing the bait so deep. You think they want that? It's all retro rogue, eh? Isn't that unreal? Fish number three out of uh, five hits. Three for five, not bad. We're just gonna send her. Bye. And then uh, we're gonna deal with this and all kinds of madness. Madness! Madness. Hey, Timmy T. Okay. But these were our baits today. That was okay. the one. We lost one fish on the Maniac. Got one on this, two or three bites on that. That's it. Kind of tight wobbling baits. The water's like 32, 33, 34 degrees. A little sound to wake them up. Yeah, that's it. You know? That's Stick body was the deal. We had a little bit more wobbly stuff like this. Zero. It's a little bit more wobbly. It's fairly tight, but nothing. I was so depressed. Now I'm not depressed. A little Euro, oh. better than a Big Mac. If I had a Big Mac right now, we'll depressed, a, depressed. We'll a Euro, we'll take a nuclear nap. For what, the Euro? Yeah. Pork, you want pork? That's yeah. even better. We're catching fish in the harbor here. We're killing it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay thank you. Two small Greek fries, right? Oh, two large Greek fries. We're big boys. And a Diet Coke. So I could break even on the meal. Yeah, okay, no problem. Thank you. Look at Junior Tronic. Bye bye. <laughs> just grinning. She doesn't <laughs> give a frick, eh? <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. We're just gonna we just order our food. We got our, uh, we got more. We were saying we're gonna leave on two pike, but we're gonna leave on three. I called three, didn't I? Almost yeah. four. So we're gonna get our food, go in the harbor, get some Greek, yeah? We're gonna take a nuke now. If it's not Greek, it's crap. <laughs> That's not even sound. That sounds yeah. like that sounds like Czechoslovakian. Or something. I gotta work on my Greek. Man's back. Big pike, bloody hands. Feel good again. Could be you. Welcome back. I think the restaurants are about there. You wanna do it? You look good. good. Entering the harbor. Man, trying to sort the food, so we're just gonna go pick it up right there at this little Greek place called what's it called? Sheep Masters? <laughs> what's it called? Alejandro. Alejandro. I might know Alejandro. Well, this is where I grew up fishing. Pretty amazing amongst all this noise. You can get some pike. Pretty crazy. How can those big pike live in these dirty urban spots? Anyway, they're survivors. So am I. Chronic's back. Don't slip on the bird poop. Look at this, boys. Greek fries looks good, boy. Mm. Yeah. I'll buy dinner. Oh, 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 oh. How's yeah. the euro, man? Very yeah. Greek. Yeah, bud. Oh, yeah. This is all psychological. That's why I got that. <laughs> Are you really on a diet? No, but at least I think so. Well, we just did a couple of thumbnail shots of the fish. Now we're going to transport them back to their world lifestyle after our spots where those pike live. Let's go. They're looking good. And then we're off to the uh, nuclear spillway because this guy wants to fish minnows. He loves minnows. If minnows. it's not minnows, he doesn't want to fish. You love minnows like he loves sheep. <laughs> well, we got the fish from 20 plus feet of water. Put them in the well, taking pictures in front of the nice city. We're going to release them. They're floating and they're in good shape. Uh, okay, so we got a bench fish here. You won't go down. We made this uh, ghetto clip on an anchor. You can just clip on here. It's good. You need someone not too hard of a pinch so that when you pull it, when it's down there, it can come off easily. We're gonna put this clip on the pike's mouth, just like so. It's for like, it's like a scale. Clipped it onto the anchor. We're gonna keep tension on this anchor. And we're gonna just put that anchor slightly in there. Hold the fish there. Okay, we're gonna drop the anchor slowly. You don't wanna knock it off too soon. Drop it slowly. Well, it's under the boat. No, it's gone. Gone. Okay, then we just wait a second to see if it comes up. If it comes up, it's going to uh, dinner. So yeah, just that little anchor system with this little piece snipped on from an uh, old weight. That would work. Unbelievable. Got an anchor on him and got him down with that clip. He's good. Unreal. Our bellies are full. Our fish are happy. See, now we're going off to the nuclear spillway. See you there. Yeah. See you there. See you there. We're back at the ramp and uh, yeah. Ready for the next spot, but you don't have to hold that, bro. Oh, I'll okay. send this. To you that. There you go. We're good. <laughs> I think I know how my wall got scuffed. Don't no worry. problem. It's a solid, multi-purpose, man. This is our Pike D Benzer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Imagine you drowned because you tripped on Greek fries. How do you die? You tripped on Greek fries. Spot number two. Let's go. Big 
Watch out on the Simco power box. I got all my uh, GoPros are dying out. We're going to the next spot. Need some power. All my other jacks there are used up. I got a couple more jacks here. So good for when you're on the go, man. Um, just a useful little device. And you got a little light switch. We're going to fish in the dark. That's going to be uh, great when we're night fishing out there tonight. Got plugger in. Got to go. See you in a moment. We got our cameras all charged up and we're back. Bad news is we went to another ramp and it was locked off. So now we're back in Scarborough. We got to do a death run. It's miles out there and it's like... Oh, it's soft, bro. I know. Did you see my TikTok, bro? No. I TikToked that photo already. Did you? Get suited up, bro. Let's do this. Round two, man. Let's do this. Could be bad. We might Don't not say get that. Back. The wind changes, we're not getting out. <laughs> we can get in. But can we get out? A lot of good things could happen, but so could a lot of bad things. Could be the best. That's life, eh? That's life. Gotta roll dice. This one didn't charge. I didn't put it in the power box. Should have used the Lake Simcoe power box and this thing would have been charged. Have you heard of Lake Simcoe power box? <laughs> Look at that boat, she's sunk by the song. Hope that's not a foreshadowing, like an English literature novel. That's you. Things have gone so well. Smooth as ever. Why do I feel like something bad is gonna happen? <laughs> Don't say that, right? <laughs> bye bye, Scobolo! Well, we arrived at the uh, nuclear spillway. We're crystal clear. Water temperature is 52 degrees. We we're just in Toronto Harbor. That was like in the 30s. Where we get kicked out? Where we get shot? Where we catch big fish? Stay tuned. We use cuss bait, swim bait, and our Hiroshi Nishine smelt head in grease release. Let's go. It's spring and it's minnowy, so it should work. Got one. On the grease release. What is this? Smashed it. First cast with the grease release. Swim baits only. I did kind of like a steady retrieve, stop and go, and then bam. Oh, there it is. Nice. There you go, you smashed it. The head's all scuffed up. Mineral versus swim bait. Hey, look at, you got, a, you got a mash. Look at this, something bit this fish. Look at the bite marks on this. Something smashed this fish, man. Cool, eh? What do you think that was? It was a pike or a bird? I don't know. Holy, I wonder if there's a muskie around. That'd be cool. See ya. Perfect matchup, eh? Machine plus scuff. Just getting scuffed. Should get a white bass or two right now. Got one. On the swim bait. Another dink on the swim bait. Fun though. Any pike chasing it? Smallmouth number 85. <laughs> Can we see another species? Well, I'm doing a straight retrieving this uh, Roshi head and grease release and bang off. Cast and reel, about as easy as it gets. Can't beat a smoke swim bait. It's not a smallmouth, I don't think. Hammered it, crushed it. What is this? I think it's a drum. I'm gonna call a drum. No, what is it? It's a pike. pike. Is it a pike? Sick. Well, it's been a pikey day. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Didn't come here for pike and we end up getting pike. Oh, you might snap off. He choked it. There's no leader on that. He just crushed that. Another species, it's chunky. Hey Timmy, can't believe I didn't break off. There you go. Scuff swim bait and nice pie on the Nishine Lure Work smelt head. Nice chunky. Let me have that. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Got him. Can we get some bass? White bass. No way. Yeah, that's a white bass. Oh, that. nice whitey. Holy He's got a nice yeah, whitey. Oh, that's big. How big is it? Not the record. Oh, I caught this one yesterday. Look that's at the sick. scars. Yeah, I caught the one with the scars on it. I weighed them. I caught this one already. That's crazy. Oh, wow. White bass. <laughs> Massive white bass. Massive. But it's not the record. This Look is like that. a three pounder. A species number three. <laughs> nice whitey. That's your first white bass? First whitey. Three Can pounder. Me? That's a huge white bass. You may never catch one that big ever again. Ones. This is sick. So I got this cord powered right directly to my GoPro. So I'm running the whole time. This little thing here, this charger, I don't know what he's got, but it's charging my GoPro so fast. It's great. Got an underwater camera I was charging on there. Now I'm gonna put the Sony on there. Like everything's charging so fast on this. Amazing. Loving this so far. Just having that outlet to just like plug all my stuff in. This guy's happy. He's just catching fish on minnows. That's his dream. That's your forte, bro. That's what I have for. 
Born oh. for oh. fish on. That's what he's born fish for. On. He just calls nice it. That's a nice one. So that's a drop a shot, seven guy. foot two. That's a big smallie, bigger than all of them so far. Right, it's a large mouth. Large. Oh, oh shit. sick! He's got sick. a large mouth. New species. That's sick. Large mouth in March on minnow. The minnow master. It's all about the minnow. Minnow master. Right, boy. Out of that tube. There it is. Sail to that tube. We got a large mouth on. Sick. Nice. Oh, that's a nice largey too. Sick, bro. Oh, that's a sick largey, man. Step backwards slowly. We got him. Yeah. Oh. Sick. Large. Nice large mouth. Look at this. Holy shit. Donkey that's the biggest bass. bass I've ever caught. Sick, bro. Oh, Thank you. Baby Mantronic today has caught his biggest large mouth, his biggest pike, biggest white bass, whole bunch of PBs. Yeah. What a good day. Well, the castle lights are getting dim. There's no one left but me and Tim. What up, what up? And his little brother. We got a oh, bunch yeah, of good okay. fish. Great day. Bunch of species. Good day. Am I still depressed from winter? A little bit. But this today definitely helps to start in the right direction. It is a great start. Wicked day, man. Thanks. Why shouldn't I be depressed? Why shouldn't you be depressed? Because you got the Simcoe Power Box, bro. Good eye. I like it. <laughs> good night, Power Box. Good sales pitch, bro.